it's me, Nancy, today. I just spoke with my mom in Georgia. They have had no power since Sunday. And when they had no power, they didn't know, um, they didn't have any hot water, and they didn't have any heat. And it was, I guess it's 29 Celsius Fahrenheit out there. But I wanted to say some things to you people that might might have storms coming up that don't know how to survive. If you don't have a wood stove. Okay. First thing is at a sporting goods store you can get an emergency blanket. Emergency blankets come in little packages like a Kleenex package. And it's a very thin cellophane with, um, well not cellophane, but it's a thin plastic with um, shiny silver on both sides. If you put it against your hand or any part of your body, it immediately warms up. So they come in big pieces. You wrap yourself up in them and sit in them with the sun shining on your face to help you get warm. You can put them over the top of your blankets in your bed to make you get warm. And where they are covering, they reflect the heat back. It's, it's, a, it's an intense heat that is like no other. It's because your body is always giving off heat. This just keeps it from giving it off. And so you immediately warm up. Okay, I can go into details about that. Another thing is if you have blankets, but they're not warm enough, take a regular sheet and put a sheet over the top of your blankets. And that will reflect, that will keep the, the heat from flowing through your blanket and getting out. And it will warm you up amazingly, more than a few blankets. Just put another sheet on top. Okay, also heat rises. So if your house is cold, if you haven't had heat for a few days, go upstairs and if you're married, get into bed together with your husband and snuggle. The Inuit um, in their Eskimos, they don't, or in their, uh, not Eskimos, in their in igloos, um, they, they, they sleep naked under, the, um, under a hide because the heat can warm each other up quickly. 